Hey guys, Carolyn here. Today I am doing a video showing you guys how I make the filler cards for my K-pop photo card binders. So this is a pretty highly requested video, I would say. Um, I have started using filler cards within probably the last six to eight months and a lot of you guys were wondering how I go about making them and I feel like it's not too difficult to make them um I am in no way shape or form like a like a photo editing pro or anything like that um and I was able to figure it out so if I can do it you can do it honestly you're probably gonna be better at it than I am but I thought that I would just make this video showing you guys how I do it and since I didn't think that would be a very long video which it wasn't um I decided to also put um in a clip of me putting away my new fellers because I had a bunch of new fillers I wanted to make before my next photo card collection update which is coming soon I promise but I wanted to get this video and also um, another video up before I post that video. So that was a long intro. Let's go ahead and get started. I use the program Pages, which is essentially like the Microsoft Word um, that comes with um, Macs or anything, but I've seen tons of other programs like Photoshop um, being used for it as well. As you can see, I already have one here and I'm just going to kind of go over how I made it. So these outlines are the same measurements that I had previously already had for making the white papers that I used to put in my binder. So this is really just like a trial and error kind of thing. If you go on Amazon, if you buy your sleeves on Amazon, or even if you don't, and you look up the kind of sleeves, they will tell you how big the pockets are. And I just kind of take that measurement and then kind of tweak it. it it takes a little bit so I don't know the exact measurements for this but I don't even know what this is really called but it's not like a solid line it's just like kind of a outline or a template just so that I know so yes then I just go to the internet um I was looking for a photo for all about love you can see that I also was watching YouTube there um I was looking for a photo that I could use um in the all about love section of my binder so i saved a couple of photos so i wanted to make a wono card because he did not have a photo card in this album um so i just took a high quality photo kind of pulled it in here and then as you can see it was much bigger than the template so i'm just kind of adjusting it you can go um, if you have this program and choose to use this program you can edit it crop it a little bit so i'm just trying to make it fill up the entire spot without kind of overflowing and I kind of squished him down a little bit I think it still looked okay sometimes when you like mess with the when you hit the like turn off the constraint proportions thing it kind of looks weird but I felt like that still looked pretty okay yes I freaking love this picture of him by the way um so that is how I did that one and I think that is all I decided that I needed because I had the two group cards on this page too. Yeah, I just basically did that for a ton of other cards. I didn't film the entire thing. I didn't think it was necessary to film the entire thing. For the little Kino card that you see next to it, I just have a white box that is semi-transparent and then some text on top of it. Super easy. Basically, what I did then is um, you can either print these out at like staples or something um, if you live in the united states or canada i know staples is a thing and you can send the photos there i pr normally would have done that but because of the time that we are living in and the time that i was filming the second portion of this video didn't really want to go to staples to pick it up so i ended up printing them out at home and what i used is the same white cardstock that i use for all of my filler papers this is literally like just brand name staples cardstock like it was super cheap but it's in the white color so you can see um and then i just went ahead and printed it out i can only do six cards per page for this like nine by eleven sheet of paper so that is all i can do on one page so 
yeah then i printed all of them out as you can see they only put six on a page only six fit on a page if i were to do more it would be kind of cut off at the bottom um and it wouldn't be the right size so that's why i do it this way then i used my um paper cutter thing which i think i also bought at staples my favorite store um and i bought it at staples it was probably like $12 or something it was very ex inexpensive and I just cut the cards out I think that this is a lot easier if you're cutting out a lot of cards than using like scissors or something though you can definitely use scissors as well that's not really like it's not a mandatory item for you to have but yeah I cut all of the cards out and then um, that is it. It's really simple to make them um, now we're gonna go into the portion of the video where I put the cards away, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these filler cards in their respective slots. Um, as you can see, I printed out a ton of Monster X ones, so we're gonna start in this binder. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the right spot. So we'll go to the follow section first because I did have to replace that Kino card because I spelt Kino wrong the first time I made this. Always spell check before you print, kids. Always. Yes, so I will go ahead and put that card away. It's spelled correctly now. So you guys don't have to like keep telling me it's spelled wrong. I've known it's spelled wrong for so long and I literally just like haven't done anything about it. But now it is perfect. And then also on this page, we have the all about love section. So I do have my one old card. So we do have seven. Um, I originally was gonna try to make it the same size as the other cards. And then that just sounds like, like too much work. Like we don't, yeah. So I'm just gonna put in the filler card. It is from like the same concept though, which is pretty exciting or it's from American promos. Um, but yeah, I think that looks pretty good it's not perfect but you know I also made some filler cards for um the fan meeting from last year so in the actual photo the group photo was someone's edit on twitter I don't remember whose edit it was so if this is your edit let me know and I will credit you but um I'm gonna move this green sleeve but as you can see in this photo all of the members are wearing like light blue except Minhyuk is wearing dark blue in the photo, but you can't really tell that unless you're like super looking at it. Yes, you can see Wono is edited into this, um, and I thought this was super cute. I know that there's going to be a lot of things in the future that won't include him, um, but for All About Love and also for the 2020, oh my gosh, will this focus, for the 2020 fan con, I really just wanted to have like OT7. So anyways, I'm going to slip that in there. So because I couldn't find anything with Wano wearing the same color, but he is wearing this blue that Minyuk's wearing in that group photo. So I thought that this might actually like look okay and work. Oh my God, that actually looks so legit. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh my God, I love this. Except for like the six member group photo at the bottom. Don't look at that, but like, I love that. Okay, and then we have some stuff for Fantasia X, so let's do that. So um, I'm not exactly sure 100% what I want to do with these pages yet, so I just cut out a couple of fillers that I know I'm going to need. So we have, um, for my other members section, I'm probably going to make another fan-made 1-0 card because I have a problem. Um, so I just made a couple of fillers of the album cover, similar to what I did for Follow. Um, so I'm just going to pop these in here and then um, I know that there's a third one. I don't know if I'm going to make like a group photo or something. I haven't really figured that part out, but I know that at least two of the four slots are going to need this filler. Um, so yes, I'm just going to stick these green sleeves back there so that it's not like white paper on the back. Um, and then these are for the, you know, photo cards. So I have another album cover. Green sleeve there. And then also I have a card that says Kino on it. Spelled correctly this time. Actually, the other, I had it the other way for the other album. So I might, yeah, let's just switch those. Okay, nice. I like that a lot. Um, and then we have the connect. 
all that is good so i think we're done with this binder now which is awesome okay so the other binder that i had a lot of fillers for is my girl group binder so let us open that i didn't replace all the fillers in here i will eventually but there were some that i just didn't want to do right now so going back to my uh, ot6 sets i will do this one eventually i just just didn't happen today so first i have my light stick set which i think i'm going to have to no i think this will be okay there's a couple of these i'm gonna have to rearrange the actual cards themselves but i think this one will be fine so i just have a couple of pink cards that go kind of with the light stick we have the a pink logo um which is uh, this one and then I thought this would look good because it's the same color as like the pink in the light stick and as you can see the little announcement for the light stick photo there so that actually looks pretty cute i love this photo card set i think it's so cute so yes um and then i have my um percent pre-order cards but i couldn't find any good fillers for those any pictures that i liked so i'll do those eventually but i do have ones for my season's greetings and then i also completed my set of the my music taste pre-order cards which is so exciting um so i'm going to rearrange the cards a little bit i'm just gonna take everyone out and the reason i decided to do this was because i was looking for cards or like pictures that would fit these cards and i decided to do three and three or like a three thing um which you guys saw me cut out earlier but yeah all i did instead was just have like a line there so these are the cards and i'm not sure if i want to put these on the top or the bottom so let's just try putting them on the top because this is like the back side so it's much easier to do it this way anyways and we'll see what we think about it um so these are for the 2020 season's greetings set of photo cards so this photo is pretty neutral and white which i think is good because each member has their own color for the set and then we're just gonna go ahead and put the cards in and see what i think of this oh and it actually looks super cute okay i actually like that quite a bit i'm not sure if i love it being on the top but i do like the way that the cards like the fillers and the cards look together which i feel like is important i feel like the hardest part for me is trying to imagine what would look good on a page um just because i'm more science minded than art minded <laughs> so that can be a little difficult for me sometimes but i think that turned out super well so like i found that artsy people are really good at things like this i'm having the same issue in animal crossing right now <laughs> i can't like imagine things until they're like in front of me i don't know and then for look i had did the same thing um so three cards that kind of make up one picture and then i'm just gonna stick some pink fillers back there because there's nothing on the back of this page yet and then we have the my music taste cards i'm so excited i was able to finish this set so easily i just ended up buying um nan and chodong's cards off of ebay off of a u.s seller which was amazing because yeah and i'm not i'm not sure if i look well actually because their like bodies get cut off it actually does look better on the bottom but yeah especially with the like other cards being on the top of another page i do kind of like how this turned out so yes super happy about this happy that i finally got fillers for these things the look cards haven't been here very long but the season greeting cards yeah it's been a while okay the last binder that i made fillers for um for right now there are other things i want to make fillers for eventually but i felt like the most necessary ones were ones for my super junior binder which we won't look too closely into because this is kind of a spoiler alert for my sj video um but not super like super spoiler but um we are going to put in some fillers for my like full group sets so this is another one that i'm not sure how these are gonna look so they might not look like this forever but we have ones from play so i have this little group picture and then everyone except dong is here so i printed out a couple of photos of dong that's one of the dispatch photos that was released and then the this one is um from one of his versions of the album and i'm not sure how 
I like that there's like an like a Dongan card next to Unyuk and Shiwon, but sure how much I like this. I like the card in the middle, but anyways. And then let's do the replay cards. So this will be nice because you can kind of the set is done, so it'll be like a full page, which will be nice. Um I need to finish play still. It's just been a very low priority because um but um I I like it, but I almost wanna I don't know. Let's leave that for right now. I'll think about it. But um and then I have one card for Super so Show 7, the photo card set that came with that. So yeah, just wanted to add something in the middle there. I like the way that turned out. Um, and then that is it for this. Do I want to... I'm not sure how I feel about this. I don't know. I think it's because there's three members in that photo with Dong A. That's why it was... It's like... I don't know. But let me flip... Oh my gosh. <laughs> These are not coming out now. Let me try to flip it around and see what I think about that. Okay, I actually like that better because then, like, there's just one photo, like, Dongye, a solo photo of him down there. Maybe once I have the Heechul and Itook cards, it'll look weird, but I like that better for right now. Um, and then I like having the Dongye card in the middle and then the two album covers. I might maybe do that for play, too. That might actually look a lot better. So maybe I'll end up replacing that, but... Yeah, um, that are, those are all of the filler cards that I had to put away. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it somewhat informative and entertaining, and I hope I answered some of your questions in regards to fillers. Fillers are definitely not a requirement when it comes to your binder, but I do think they help your binder look kind of nice, and, um, yeah, you definitely don't need them. If you ever wanted them, that's how you make them. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see what else I have coming, go ahead and look in the description box down below. I also will have my photo card collection video up soon and also me organizing the Super Junior Binder. That is coming soon. It's just, it's a long, long movie. <laughs> and I just posted the Kihyun movie, so I'm trying to spread these out a little bit. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye.